What is going on YouTube? So coming back today with my next set of NFL player rankings. So today I'm doing top 10 safeties. A couple days ago I did top 10 cornerbacks. So I'll be done with defensive backs after this. And then after this we'll be doing my top 10 special teams rankings. Just going to combine kickers and punters into one. Get them out of the way before I can do my top 50. So go ahead and start with my three outside. So first player I got the Green Bay Packers. The strong safety. Morgan Burnett. So... Morgan Burnett, I like I like what he brings to the table for the Green Bay Packers. Came into the league in 2010, spent six seasons with them. I believe this will be his seventh. And has been somewhat consistent in his years since. Will probably get you around anywhere from, I'd say, 70 to 100 combined tackles. He's put up as many as 129 in 2014, so a little bit inconsistent there. Honestly, I'd say the most consistent thing he's brought or that he's brought to the Green Bay Packers is just a sure tackling safety. One of the biggest things for them is just I think moving past mediocrity with that defense. Honestly, when you have Aaron Rodgers, you don't need much more than a mediocre defense. But um, you got some big names, obviously, with uh, a guy like Clay Matthews. Um, you got uh, did have Casey Hayward, uh, Tremont Williams, but. Like Casey Hayward will be gone after this offseason. Morgan Burnett, to me, is by, I'd say, far and away right now, the best defensive back the Packers have. Now, won't get you too much in the way of interceptions. I believe he's only got one in the last three years. Has brought down seven careers, so he has the ability to. Just hasn't seen it recently. Uh, two forced fumbles, one recovery this past year. So he will get you turnovers either way each year. If he can spend a full season healthy, I believe he missed some time because of injury this past season. Uh, you can expect around 100 combined tackles, maybe I guess top end 120. So uh, definitely serviceable in that department. Next safety I've got is Hussein Abdullah for the Kansas City Chiefs. One of the top 10 f best free safeties in the NFL, in my opinion. Spent four years in the league with the Minnesota Vikings, three with the Kansas City Chiefs. And will probably, on a good year, bring you 70 combined tackles. Again, um, one of the, in my opinion, one of the be better... Uh, Pass cover or one of the better guys in coverage. Uh, I believe career high three interceptions, five during uh, five during his total career, actually six. No forced fumbles or forced recoveries there. Fumble recoveries, so won't get you too much in that. But again, I like what he brings to the table with the Kansas City Chiefs. A reliable guy in the defensive backfield and. Definitely one of the smaller names in the Kansas City Chiefs defense. It's been very good since Andy Reid took over. So at number one on the three outside, I got the Tennessee Titan, former Buffalo Bill, DeNorth Cersei. So came over to the Tennessee Titans this past year. Uh, defense that drastically needed help. Was able to bring down 55, or 55 combined tackles. One of the more efficient safeties in the NFL, in my opinion. Five interceptions in the last three years. So he's got the ability to bring you um, a little bit of turnovers and in that way and then even though he wasn't able to get any forced fumbles or forced recoveries this year uh, fumble recoveries excuse me guy that I think um, has been able to in the past uh, can get you probably three on a good year and then two on an average year so uh, look out for that improvement so at number 10 move inside the top 10 I've got the Seattle Seahawks Cam Chancellor so again I like what Cam Chancellor has brought to the Seahawks the last five, six years. Uh, slowed down a little bit because of injury this past year. Guy that will bring you down quite a few tackles. Uh, probably peaked around 2011, 2013 compared to his stats now. Uh, missed a few games in 2014 and missed even more this past year. Probably would have been able to bring down 100 combined tackles if he was healthy. But will do you pretty well in the interception department. 10 during his career, I believe two during this past season. Uh, four as a career high and again one of the hardest hitting center excuse me center safeties in the NFL and um, a guy that's been a product of a few trade rumors this offseason be interesting to see if the Seahawks decide to move on and pair someone else at safety with Earl Thomas Seahawks defense so number nine I've got the former St. Louis Ram now Philadelphia Eagle Rodney McLeod so he will not be following the Rams to LA, a guy that um, was able to put up probably his best season statistically this past year. Uh, 82 combined tackles, four uh, total 
between fumble recoveries and then forced fumbles. And then also one interception has the ability again to bring down a little bit more brought down to each season through 2014 and 2000 or 2013, 2014. Again, probably his best season statistically um, going into his fifth season in the NFL. So uh, probably now just entering his prime again, uh, st- statistics have gone up every single year. He's been in the league. So no reason to um, think why it won't go up again this year. The change of scenery might have a little bit of an effect on him uh, playing in the back or playing uh, next to safety. Malcolm Jenkins, one of the best in the NFL. So uh, good pairing there for the Philadelphia Eagles and uh, see what happens there. See if he actually loses some of the tackles or picks up some of them, just a more dominant defense. So at number eight, I've got the other Seattle Seahawks safety and Earl Thomas. So, mentioned Cam Chancellor earlier. Earl Thomas, again, a guy that has um, been a part of the no-fly zone with the Seattle Seahawks. And, again, a guy that's seen a little bit of a dip statistically since 2000, around the 2013 mark. Uh, 2014, again, another solid season statistically. I believe he's played every single regular season game with the Seahawks since he came into the NFL. Um, Entering his seventh season and... Um, a guy that is, again, pretty hard-hitting safety will get you a lot of turnovers, 21 career interceptions. You can expect about four to five a year, which is extremely value- or valuable at the safety spot. Not as many forced fumbles or recoveries. Only got about 13 in that department. So um, I you might be able to see a bounce back here from Earl Thomas, I hope. So the Seahawks defense has regressed a tiny bit each year since they won the Super Bowl in 2014. And, I mean, obviously still loaded with talent and um, still got valuable pieces all along the defensive line, linebackers. And if they do decide to keep Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas together, still got a solid pairing at safety. So at number seven, I've got the New England Patriots breakout performer from two years ago, Patrick Chung. So Chung actually went to the Eagles for a year back in 2013 after spending pretty much his entire career with the Patriots. Went back in 2014 had a breakout year with 85 combined tackles, 54 of which solo pretty much put up identical stats in 2015. Um, Will not, again, not bring you too much in the way of turnovers. Only eight career interceptions in eight seasons, so I believe seven, heading into his eighth. And then also... Not too much in the way of sacks or forced fumbles or recoveries either. Only got two of those in his career. But like I said, a sure-handed safety or sure tackling safety, uh, serviceable piece in the New England pa- for the New England Patriots for the last two years uh, has become one of the bigger names and one of the more uh, sure pieces of, of really any of their defensive backs. So at number six, I've got the New Orleans Saints strong safety Kenny Vaccaro. So, um, honestly, I could have Vicar ranked a little bit higher. I'll be honest. Uh, a lot of people probably have him in their top five. Uh, has seen or saw a pretty dramatic rise in his statistics this past year. Uh, was able to get above 100 combined tackles and above 70 total um, for the first time in his NFL career. No interceptions, about two forced fumbles. Uh, or excuse me, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, and I don't think any career touchdowns. So not a whole lot in the turnover department, but he's one of the few bright spots of a Saints defense that's been extremely sad for the last couple of years. So and number five, and that's probably honestly a reason why I've got him a little bit lower. It's just the defense he's playing on is not great. So at number five, I have the Miami Dolphins, Rashad Jones. So... Rashad Jones, one of the most efficient safeties in the NFL this past year. Pretty much spent every season in the league with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, a guy that saw a pretty dramatic rise in his statistics around 2012-2013. has been very good ever since. 135 combined tackles, above 100 total as himself. So above 100 solo tackles. Uh, first one on this list to get that. And again, a very efficient safety. Five interceptions, put up some monster stats last year. And then another one uh, fumble recovery also put up two uh, two touchdowns. So, again, probably is, uh, I think, by far his best de- or season statistically, career high five interceptions, 15 uh, total in his career. So, had a third of them this past year. 
and uh, also two sacks, so tied a career height there. Again, great season for him statistically. Uh, a little bit of a mediocre defense that he's got in Miami. Um, but again, a solid piece to me, definitely a top five safety. And um, I think he's right around that peak point in, in his NFL career at age 28. Uh, should be right in the middle of his prime. So at number th four, yeah, number four, I've got the Minnesota Vikings. Um, the free safety, Harrison Smith. So Harrison Smith has emerged being one of the best parts of the Vikings defense. Um, the only problem with him is struggling a little bit with injuries, missing a few games this past season, and then I believe he struggled with injuries two years ago. And then will get you a decent amount of sacks on a full season, has the potential to get you around two or three. I believe he had two this past season. Uh, brought down two interceptions after having a career high five the previous year. Again, missed a little bit of time because of injury. Probably would have seen inflated stats if he had played a full 16 instead of 13. And, you know, again, a guy that's brought down 12 career interceptions in four years. So uh, you can expect around, I'd say, from a full season, three to four interceptions and probably one or two forced fumbles and forced recoveries, one each, at probably at the most. Also, probably get you a defensive return each year. Again, one of the best parts of a Vikings defense that's been better, or that was better this past year, and a part of a Vikings team that's looking pretty solid heading into the future. I think Harrison Smith might be, I think he's the heart and soul of that defense. Uh, when you think heart and soul of Vikings defense for me, Harrison Smith is probably the first person that comes to mind. they got some other solid pieces along that defense. I like what Anthony Barr brings to the table. I mentioned, I mentioned that in a couple of the videos, including the linebacker rankings. But anyway, move on to... Number three, and I've got the Philadelphia Eagles, Malcolm Jenkins. So, came over from the Saints, I believe, two years ago, uh, before the 2014 season, and has put up pretty good stats with the Eagles since. Was able to get over 100 combined tackles, 90, I believe 109 tackles, yeah, 109 combined tackles, and then 90 solo. No sacks, but three. Uh, three fumble recovery or three force fumbles, one recovery, and then also two interceptions, one touchdown. So I think when he's paired alongside Rodney McLeod this year, should look to be one of the best uh, safety combos in the NFL. Uh, again, I like what Malcolm Jenkins has been able to do really since I think his breakout season was around, was around 2011. Uh, he, but he's been a very consistent safety in the NFL. You pretty much know what you're going to get from him every year, probably around two interceptions, one or two touchdowns, and then quite a few uh, forced fumbles and then fumble recoveries. It has 11 each in his career. Again, I like what the Eagles have put together. Uh, a little bit of a steal signing in Rodney McLeod. I'd have to look up his contract details. Um, I haven't looked too much into that. Not one of the bigger names in the NFL for sure, but... Anyway, move on to number two, and I've got the Arizona Cardinals, Tyron Matthew. So, Honey Badger has been great in the NFL. I uh, really saw a breakout season this past year. Um, he's been good, but again, five interceptions, 89 combined tackles, 80, uh, 80 solo, and probably the best player, maybe the second best player along the Cardinals defense that is honestly fantastic heading into this coming season. I don't know if he's the best player. There's a lot of good players along that defense, spanning from now Chandler Jones uh, to Calais Campbell to Patrick Peterson and, of course, Tyron Matthew. Rashad Johnson was also a pretty, shot, or pretty solid safety for the Cardinals this past year. But like I said, Tyron Matthew probably, um, I, I, think, I think you can expect nothing but great things from him to come. Um, obviously, pro probably a steal for the uh, – for the Cardinals, coming out of college, had a lot of trouble at LSU, suspensions, uh, attitude problems, and such. So, like I said, um, should expect big things from these coming years. I think the one thing that I th that you could see an in inflation in is probably his sacks. Had one this past year. I know he was good at getting after the quarterback in college, or at least when he was, or at least when he was set on blitzes, he was able to do that. One of the more athletic, fast guys in the NFL runs a four five forty, which is obviously great for a safety, or good for a safety. I'd say not the best, but yeah. Anyway, um, number two, or excuse me, number one got the Kansas City Chiefs strong safety, one of the best stories in the NFL, coming back from cancer, Eric Berry. 
So former Tennessee volunteer saw a uh, pretty good comeback season with two interceptions and really no forced fumbles or fumble recoveries, but 60 combined tackles and one of them probably the most efficient safety in the NFL, rarely gets beat, and to me, best strong safety. Again, doesn't, won't wow you statistically. I don't think he really ever has. Um, I believe his career high for interceptions is four, and again, not much in the way of forced fumbles or fumble recoveries in his career, but on a good year, he'll bring you one or two interception returns for touchdowns, and again, I think the biggest name along the Chiefs defense that was dramatically improved with Eric Berry in the back or back in the defensive backfield. Again, I think he's the heart and soul of that defense. I think that defense goes as he goes. Obviously, there's other great players along that defense, man. I guess namely Tom Ali and Justin Houston. But again, I really like what Eric Berry brings to the table when when, it, when you're talking about pass coverage and just being a sure-handed tackler. Again, I hope he gets. I hope he does even better this coming season. One of the again, I just think it's impossible to hate Eric Berry. One of the best stories this past year, I believe he was AFC Comeback Player of the Year, and for good reason. So that wraps up my safety rankings. Um, I will be coming back tomorrow, like I said, with the special teams rankings, just so I can get that out of the way before I do my top fifty and then wrap up this ranking series. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you did not see my cornerback or linebacker rankings, I'll put both those in the outro and then the link to the entire playlist for my NFL rankings in the description below. So obviously getting into some of the slower name, or slower name, um, I guess like not as big name players in the NFL right now and should expect um, should expect a little bit more, obviously with the big name guys when I come back with my top 50. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Or at least it has so far. Like I said, tomorrow I'll be doing corners, next day safeties, and then some form of special teams and round it out. Probably top 50. Maybe top 100. I'm not sure. So, yesterday's video was hard to come up with. Uh, it was the hardest list yet. Just because, like I said, there's really no frame of reference 